We continue coverage of breaking news tonight. As we explained on News 10 First at 5, a long time and very popular ISU coach's tenure has come to an end. Greg Lansing is out as the men's basketball coach. Sports Director Rick Simler joins us now in the studio with what this news means for the team. It was no secret this was the final year of Indiana State men's basketball coach Greg Lansing's contract and he was on the hot seat today. ISU announced they were parting ways with Lansing after 11 years. He finished as the program's second all-time winningest coach. ISU has only made four NCAA tourney appearances. One came under Lansing during his first season in 2011. He was also very popular among fans. He loves Terre Haute in the Wabash Valley and was very active in the community. Coach says he may be leaving, but ISU will always be a part of him. Terre Haute is uh, important to me. Indiana State's important to me. That's not going to change. I'm going to come back. Christy and I will come back. Uh, look forward to supporting all their teams um, as we move forward. I got uh, the best friends um, uh, anyone could have here, and this will this will always be home. You know, we have a coach that's done a really good job building a program, and that he's left us with a really good uh, group of young talents. And we're going to bring a coach in here that's going to be here for the next five or seven years to see it continue to grow. I'll have much more on ISU parting ways with Coach Lansing. I asked ISU AD Clean Scales on what ISU can do better with, to help their coaches. I'll have that later for you in sports. Welcome back. As we know in life, all things come to an end. And today, Greg Lansing's longtime run as Indiana State men's basketball coach was ended. As I told you earlier in the newscast, ISU announced they are parting ways with Coach Lansing. After 11 seasons, this year was the final year of Lansing's contract. His final day was March 31st. Coach and ISU Athletic Director Sherrard Klingscales met in the offseason and again back in December on his contract. Lansing wanted a two-year deal. Klingscales was only willing to give him a one-year deal, so no agreement was ever made. Lansing was one of the most successful coaches the men's basketball program ever had. He's the only Sycamore coach to reach 100 MVC wins. He finished second all-time in victories with 181, just one shy of the record. Lansing holds the school record for most wins over ranked opponents with five. He's the only coach that got ISU to four straight seasons of 17 or more wins. In his first season in 2011, ISU made the NCAA tourney. That was just their fourth appearance ever. His downfall came towards the end of his career. ISU went through five straight losing seasons, but he did turn it around the last two years with winning campaigns. ISU did struggle at Arch Madness lately, going one and five in Lansing's last five appearances. Coach said he gave Sycamore Nation everything he had. We did all we could. I had good. I had a lot of support. I had good people here. Would you have liked to have done better and, and maybe some more championships or maybe a better overall record or, or whatever, whatever it may be? I, I gave it everything I had. But you said, what's the message to the, to the Sycamore nation, if you will? You know, the, 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 the bar has been set pretty high. And so any, you know, you know, I guess I'm on the clock. I've got to be able to, to, to bring someone on board. It's going to not only do what Coach Lansing does, but, but exceed that if you're going to make a decision like that. And I, I, I'm accountable to that and accept that and uh, we'll go forward. You heard Kling Scales, the pressure is on him now to bring in a better and more successful coach than Lansing because this decision was made by the ISU AD. He wants his own guy. He's made that very clear. Sherrard says he already had several coaches express interest and hopes to hire a new coach soon, but he didn't give a timetable. Whoever takes over the men's basketball program automatically inherits several challenges. I asked the ISU AD about that today. Here's how he expects ISU to handle things. I know it's a, it's a, touch, a touchy subject around here, but what are you going to give the next coach in terms of facility and pay scale to give them the playing field that the rest of the conference has? Thank you for the question, um, uh, Rick. You know, it's, it's interesting because the, the narrative has been since I've been here that we don't, you know, have what we have. That hasn't changed since I've been here and certainly hasn't been here as, as long as coach. So um, I will tell you that whoever takes this job understands the challenge that we have and will make the most of it. My job is to make sure that I do what I need to do and our staff to be able to, um, to raise more money, to be able to support the, the, the program as we need to. Um, you know, I anticipate us continuing to, to do that. Um, it's not going to be easy, but I don't believe that what you make in a conference necessitates how you finish or what you do with. 